Greetings, mortals. All right. I've got a new war cut. <laughs> Greetings, mortals. I have a new war cry table project that I wanted to share with you and a, f a fun story that went along with it. A few weeks ago, um, I had uh, just been dreaming up um, war cry tables and one of the games that I played this this um, this winter and spring to kind of scratch my skirmish itch was Necromunda and Necromunda has a ton of heights and elevation and drops etc and in the previews of war cry it seemed like there was going to be some of that in there um, and so I kind of transported my some of those ideas of um, I guess living quarters and stuff where you got stacks of, of, of kind of pill bottle uh, type living, etc., um, all kind of stacked up. And I thought, what would that look like in fantasy? What would that look like in Age of Sigmar? And so I started dreaming up the idea of a, a cobbled together, free for all kind of shanty town built up with timber construction um, outside of like the walls of hammer hall and it was pretty fun um i actually put to, I just spent a couple hours uh putting up a little sketch and uh this is what i came up with now this was i took a drawing of one kind of house um and i just duplicated it copied it and then drew over it etc um but just try to get this idea of confusion and different levels all that kind of stuff a lot of uh movement and and uh or sparse standing spaces kind of stuff um so um i put this out on twitter obviously some people really enjoyed it it's fun uh it's cool to think about i shared it uh on our discord first and of course people are like build it um but when after i put it on twitter i'd gotten a, a message back from uh dylan underscore kw who um had sent me some pictures from the essex gt and uh, said, hey, you should use this terrain. And it's this cool picture of some fantasy terrain that I hadn't seen before and the MDF terrain I hadn't seen before. And, you know, we've all kind of got our links and we go and we peruse and we see what's new, et cetera. Um, but I hadn't seen this terrain maker before. And then um, Simon uh, at Simon Warhammer had uh, kind of spilled the beans. He knew who it was from. And it was from a company called War Cradle. And so I had, um, I'm going to put this up now. Um, I hadn't heard of them, but they do some games like Wild West Exodus. Um, and uh, they do terrain for all of these different games. They do some terrain for, um, I believe they do for, I don't know, some of those sci-fi games that are not Games Workshop. Um, and uh, it, But it was just really cool. One of the pieces they had was also this really big um, windmill. Uh, so just some cool pieces, uh, and I, it got me real excited. Well, um, I think, I believe Simon or, no, the War Cradle, War, Cradle Studios, <laughs> War Cradle Studios reached out, and they asked me, what, would I be interested in doing a review? Um, sure. I don't do much reviews. It's not something I do a lot of, but uh, I'm interested. Um I really liked the stuff. Um, it did look like it'd be good, really cool for Warcry terrain um, and easy to work with and model, you know, uh, different kinds of elevation, etc. And I had this idea. And, but, you know, reviewing one model, uh, one kit wasn't going to get me kind of into that. So I asked them, I challenged or I just put it in their head. I was like, what if you gave me a few kits, spare a few of your small ones, and see what I could do to build something close to this? They thought about it. It was outside of what they were expecting. I don't know if uh, they've got other people reviewing it and they just given you know put a couple of kits together, you know, et cetera, and and they're going for it. Uh, and so I actually just got a load of uh, their kits in the mail and. Um, I got these for free. And so I'm going to be doing some reviews on these. So on these kits, a couple of their, um, the Gloomberg Cottage. You know what? I just realized that I still have this picture up. So we've got the Gloomberg Cottage.
We've got the manor. We even got the windmill, the old mill, and the Gloomberg Marketplace. Uh, just a lot of scatter stuff, a few kits that could be really cool for kind of adding on balconies, uh, et cetera. It's really cool. I am intrigued by the idea of this statue made of uh, many layers of MDF um, and boxes, et cetera. And uh, so they're they're partnering with me. I don't know, it's more collaboration. Hey, see what you, see what cool stuff you can make with this. And my hope with uh, with building this project is um, I'll get to see if this this MDF stuff is cool. I've I've built a lot of MDF terrain, and uh, this seems a very unique in a lot of in a lot of ways. And so let me see how it is unique and share that with you guys. Um, but also we get to build this really cool uh, shanty. Uh, that, that we can play Warcry on. You'll, uh, and, and along the way, I'll be able to kind of um, hype Warcry. I'll be able to, to hype War Cradle and their cool scenics, and we'll all have fun with it. And so I'm just really appreciative that War Cradle sent out uh, these kits for me to play with. Um, I'm looking forward to, to starting the build here pretty soon uh, with uh, Warcry coming out uh, at the end of this week um, and uh, wanting to just kind of make some progress and build some cool stuff up. So... Um, yeah, I just wanted to share this cool project that's getting started, um, and uh, I hope everybody just has fun with it uh, and seeing it come together. Um, I'll post as many pictures on, on Twitter and uh, maybe shoot some video of it. Um, you can always join our Discord channel, the Mortal Realms Discord channel, um, and, I'll, uh, and you can find me on Twitter, and I can always send you a link. Um, and I'll be posting a lot of work in progress there before I post it anywhere else, so... Um, yeah, thanks for watching and I hope you get excited.